successful indie author five minute focus episode 168 tropes versus cliches and you see behind me it's already getting light out uh, because uh it's oh stop it stop it just lost my screen in the background there for a second <clears throat> all right tropes versus cliches a trope is a recurring theme within a genre that readers expect all genre equals marketing all genres are is a place for somebody who likes a certain type of story to go find more of those types of stories so tropes that's what you'll find those in the genre and it's important to have them because that's reader expectations you don't want to dive outside of reader expectations can you imagine reading a romance novel a sweet romance since everything's going great they have the conflict they start to resolve their issues hey they're starting to fall in love love at the end happily ever after and the second uh, after their first kiss and they decide this is it this is us she gets hit by a bus and killed the end talk about tormenting your readers don't do it so tropes happily ever after in uh, romance is non-negotiable i know there's also happy for now but you don't kill your, your person with a bus right at the end <clears throat> that's not the right trope Cliché. A cliché is commonplace, overused, lacks original thought, hackneyed. <clears throat> a cliché. And, and the best way I can describe that one is the case of terrorists in novels. A cliché is that the terrorist is swarthy from the Middle East. That's a, that's a cliché. You're probably, the people who write them probably don't know anybody and just are using what they saw from movies and stuff, and they're writing it wrong, and this, that's a cliché. Now, a terrorist, a person who thinks extreme violence will bring more attention, positive attention to their cause. That's a terrorist. Now, where, how do you, can you work them in? And that's where you go through a trope as opposed to a cliche. The cliche is this person must be this because we all have these preconceived notions incorrectly, or you think that's what people have a preconceived notion on. Stop it. That's a cliche. You don't want to do that. <clears throat> inciting the action, the chase, the conflict resolution, first kiss, those kinds of elements within certain genres are, <clears throat> are, the, are the tropes. The trope, science fiction stories. One thing that's huge in science fiction stories is the love interest. Uh, romance ha plays, plays a massive role in space operas, in, in even military sci-fi, because people like those relationships. They always wonder, are these two gonna get together? That kind of thing, <clears throat> because it's, it's, a good, it's a good trope, it's a good subplot that works within any story where you have characters working together, especially in high stress situations. There's, they're looking for that kind of relief out of those high stress situations. Military, I'll tell you that exactly. People are looking for relationships all the time because uh, uh, they need something to help calm the the turbulent waters of conflict that is inherent in any kind of military action so that's a that's a good thing <clears throat> a little dry there so thriller I had a technical analysis done on thrillers and one thing that came uh, to light was that a thriller had had to have a certain action every 11 pages I mean, an action. James Patterson, he was a, he, his books have an action every four pages. And this is something that engages, oh my God, something's going on. Oh my, oh, I got to keep reading. So every four pages, that's, that's a trope within it. What kind of action? Well, there's all different kinds of actions, but 11 pages versus four pages versus uh, my first thriller, I wrote it and I went like 50 pages without an action. And they said, you can't market that to thrillers. And you know what? They were right. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta market to a different audience then because thriller authors are thriller readers are looking to be thrilled and to thrill them. You need to thrill them often. So, I mean, look at the video games, just constant, constant stimulus of stuff going on. Those are tropes. The cliche is the type of stuff that's in there in the background that, Hey, if it's, if it's so commonplace that, hey, this is what everybody does, don't do that. Action every certain pages. Well, that's a trope. That's a reader expectation, not what the authors are doing. The authors are feeding the readers. Entertainment. Are you not entertained? Well, you better be. You better entertain your readers. This is what keeps them coming back to your books. 
<clears throat> so hit the tropes. What kind of tropes are within books? It's, it, it varies wildly. It's very specific to the genre. Space opera is my genre. And in that one, multiple characters, not just a single character. It's not just Captain Kirk on the bridge, but look at all the characters that surround him. And there are times when Captain Kirk is not available at all. And other characters are carrying the story. That is a space opera. All these characters doing great things and moving the story forward. So those are those are the tropes. You can't have a, a space opera with just a single character. So that's uh, that's it. Cliches, avoid those if it's like, hey, this is what I think everybody uh, uh, is expecting. Take a better look. Is that the trope? Is that something, a, a an element within the story? Or is that just something that you saw everybody doing and you think that's the right thing to do? understand the why behind that. All right. I hope that helps. It's a little bit, six minutes <clears throat> going along all the time now. I hope that helps because uh, this is something that you want to avoid cliches like the plague that they are. And as we found out last year, nobody avoids the plague. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not a good cliche. Don't use that one. You want to go with tropes. What are those elements that readers are looking for? Feed the reader without throwing out a cliche, something that the reader says is stupid. So avoid the stupid. Keep the reader reading. Peace, fellow humans.